we're almost ready to start skim coating. I've gotten a lot of this done here, right? The um, kind of widened out and smoothed out all along there. Of course, it's still, I'm gonna go ahead and sand it before we do the skim coat. It may not be necessary, but see like these waves in there? I wanna get that out. Cause I'm not very experienced, right? As you guys know, and I want it to come out good, but I wanna try a different technique. First thing we're gonna have to do is get everything out of the bathroom. Sink, buckets, back of the toilet. We're not gonna take the whole toilet out, but the back of the toilet, uh, shower curtain rod, shower head. Then we can get skin coat. All right, we gotta get the toilet off of here. Shut off the water. All right, now we're going to take the valve out. Let's just go ahead and flush it. Normally that would do it, but check out this. We've got a ton of water in there still because this is one of those water efficient ones. And so look at that, just a waste of space, man. So we're going to take the valve out so we can drain it. There we go. Oh, you can see it now. There we go. Drain in the tank. Now we just have two little wing nuts up here we gotta undo. Should be a washer in there too, I think. Yeah, so we got a wing nut and washer. And one on the other side. All right, now hopefully we can Lift the tank off. First though, we're gonna go ahead and put the uh, valve back in and the nut back on the bottom side of it. Go ahead and put our nuts and our washers in the tank. Put the lid on. Let's see what happens. Oh man, look at that. Super simple. Grab the sink here, take it out. Disconnect that light bulb, put the wires in there and the switches. All right, turn the water off, open the valves, nothing comes up. Disconnect the water lines right here. Get the water. Now, no water's coming out, All right? No water's coming out, barely any. Open up the valves and it all comes out nice and fast. Okay. Then we can pull the sink out. Then we can get to this guy a little bit easier. Now, for this guy right here, you wanna make sure you have a cap because you're about to open Pandora's box. So what's going on here is, right now the trap is full of water and it's preventing sewer gases from coming out, from coming out this way and coming into the house. When we disconnect this, we're removing that stopper, basically, that P-trap, right? Now, sewer gases can come directly out of this hole. We don't wanna smell those, so we'll put this cap on there. Now we're safe. Next step, go ahead and take the shower head off. We're gonna need a wrench or not. Yep. I know, this marks it up, but I already marked it up, so. There's gonna be a little protective decorative ring on here anyway, so it'll be okay. He might not choose to do it this way, but I am. All right, now we can mud over that. That'd be beautiful. All right, make sure the power is off. It's off. And we're going to disconnect this light. 
which is pretty simple to do. It's just two wires. It's not even a ground on these things. There we go. Okay. Tuck them up in here. Make sure they're out of the way. Then we need to disconnect. We need to take off the light switches. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, man, you're working twice. You put those things in, now you're taking them out, and you're gonna have to put them back in. It's true. But we got to use the bathroom for the last hmm, three weeks or so before we got around to finishing the drywall, right? So I don't feel bad about it. Just as a tip, this is not the best screwdriver to use on these. Use one with a square end. I have one. It's my world's favorite screwdriver, but I just can't find it right now. So we're using the Phillips. But a square on these is way nicer. Final step here. I'm just gonna wrap these guys here in a little bit of masking tape. That way we don't have to clean them off later. Now we're just gonna go along and scrape off all the high spots. Scrape off the buggers. See, like right in here in this corner. Get that corner nice and sharp. We're gonna go ahead and give it a quick sand just to make sure we get all of the stuff off of it here. All right, there we go. Sand it up, looking good. Let's get ready to skim coat. It's right at about 32 degrees. And let's just take a quick look here, guys. Update on the snow out here. It was snowing a little bit last night, but now it is raining again. But man, we've still got a ton of snow out there. There's a lot, let me go show you out this other side here before we get back to the bathroom, all right? Just real quick, little, little break here from the work. All right, so you can see, man, we still got pretty deep snow, pretty deep path cut in there. Whew, it's chilly willy out there, man. Let's get back to work. I don't wanna mix up the whole five gallons. I don't know how much it's gonna take. You can always, you can always thin it down, but it's, Pretty hard to get it thick again. Plus, I guess if I mix this one and it's too thin, then I can always add some of this back into it and make it a little thicker over here. But if I do the whole bucket wrong, then we're gonna have problems. I'll add that much. See how it comes out here. What do you think? I don't know. I think it might be thin enough. I think that's probably pretty good. We'll try that. We can always add more water later. All right, we're gonna start over here around the doorway and we'll see, we'll see how it goes. That's a nice narrow, small spot to start with. You're supposed to just stick that guy in there, get it all good and gooped up, something like that. Give it a go here. Wow. Huh. Come right up here to the, close to the edge. All right, let's see how it goes. Well, not too bad. Man, we got something in it. Well, mm, 
let me show you what the first pass here looked like. All right, so first attempt here. Looks like we actually textured the wall over there. We got it pretty smooth in here. Also a texturized kind of thing along there. And then we got something in the mud right there. But I think it's not too bad. I mean, we'll try it again. We'll go over that again later once it dries and uh, keep working on it. All right, so I think I'm gonna try to go. I think I'm getting the hang of this stuff, guys. You got it, look at that, guys. So smooth. There's a little bit of right, right in there, a little bit of texturing right there, but it's way better. I think the clue here is you gotta put it on thick enough, right? Like, as in get enough on the wall that you can actually smooth it out. Here, there wasn't enough on the wall. Wasn't enough on the wall here. So we'll go ahead, we'll reapply to this side here and try to get it done better. All right, let's go ahead and try this again. All right, so that came out a lot better. Uh oh, little booger right there. Yeah, that came out a lot better. We're gonna go ahead and continue on with that technique, going over the walls here in the bathroom, see how it can come out. Another day, guys, we got a little bit more to finish up in here and then we'll be ready to prime it. We've gotta get a little skim coat up there. I did some sanding this morning before I started recording. I figured you've seen sanding, you'll probably see some later in this video, but we got some little things to fix here, like where my, I, I hit this with my hand and did that, and I hit this with the corner of the thing and dug a little piece out, so I had to, had to push that in. Um, there are some small lines that you can see that need fixing. It's really hard for me to show you with the camera in such a small space. So we're gonna continue on, get this part done up here, fix some of the corners where there were some, some boogers that had to get sanded off and left kind of funny things. But we'll finish all that up and hopefully it'll be dry later today. We can go ahead and prime this bad boy. That part right there is always a pain because it's above the tub. We're gonna have to put the tub, okay, we're gonna have to put the ladder in the tub. So we're just gonna put some cardboard under the feet, hopefully. Protect it. It is a fiberglass tub, and so I don't want to crack the bottom of it. I'm not using the roller method up here because we just have a little tiny bit that we need to actually put a whole skim coat on. So we're just going to do it the old fashioned way. Look at that, almost got it right in my eyeball. Go ahead and say, you should be wearing safety glasses. All right, so we got some minor things that we need to fix in here. I can't really show you on the camera, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. And then we'll take a look at it once we get everything ready to prime, okay? That's when we'll jump back into the video. We're finally ready to start painting this bad boy. Let me show you what paint we're using, and then, uh, well, we'll get started on it. We're going to be using this right here, Kills Kitchen and Bath Interior Primer, right? It's for mold, mildew uh, prevention. So hopefully right, we don't get any mold or mildew in there because that is the bathroom. 
fairly moist place. And then right here, this is uh, the interior paint we're using. Just Walmart paint, 15 year warranty, white. Let's get started with that primer. Hopefully guys, we'll get the whole thing painted today. We'll see. All right, let's bust this guy open here. Most used tool on the homestead, guys. Link is down in the description. Right. Go ahead and... It says it's pre-mixed. I don't know, we'll mix it though. We'll give it a good mix here first. Just going around the pipes like that and the corners. I think we'll just dip out of the bucket before we put it in the pan and use a roller. I'm also gonna go ahead and use a foam brush this time instead of that other brush that we used uh, last time in the kitchen. Cause that other one seemed to leave really big paintbrush marks in the paint and I don't want that in here. So we'll try this, we'll try the, we'll try this guy right here. Yeah, so we'll just paint away here, see what happens. Get a good prime coat on here. The primer is all dry. It's looking good in here. It's really echoey, but there we go, guys. It's all white. It actually kind of has a bluish tint to it. I'm hoping that that'll make it really easy to tell where the new fresh paint is going and where the primer is so that I don't miss any spots. We are painting it in white. We're using this paint right here. It says it's durable and washable with a 15 year warranty. Should be good, huh? Let's get the paint. We're gonna do a little bit better job of uh, mixing up this paint than we did the primer. Just wanna be sure, who knows how long it was sitting on the shelf. And they did not shake it for us. We just picked it up and walked on out. Of course we paid for it. Smells like a new house in here. Fresh paint in the bathroom. We just have to wait for it to dry and then we can continue on to the next step. If you'd like to see more about what's going on here on our homestead, there is a video right over here that you might like to check out. Otherwise, I hope you have a really great day. Keep smiling 
and I'll see you over in that video in just a second.